everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm starting the vlog a little bit late because I've been working on the new floral release for the past like, it feels like the last two days solid. It hasn't quite been like solid, but honestly just feels like it because it took me so long to the point where I'm wondering if I maybe went the wrong way about it. You would have seen in the clips that I've just showed, I basically set up a template that lets me like edit the flowers and then it will automatically populate the arrangements of flowers from the ones I've selected. So it makes it really like efficient going forward to make new versions of it. But setting up the template so that it all works properly, like updating the smart objects, took me pretty much all of yesterday. <laughs> I've just done the cut flowers now. Cut flowers for florals are really annoying because you have to go in and tweak a lot of it manually because for some reason it will like trace the object with like random circles where there are not actually circles. <laughs> so. I've just done all that now, they're ready. I'm gonna make a reel because I have like a little marketing idea for them. So Tom's cutting those now and I need to start printing April Mystery. So basically yesterday and today have been design days but not really like very efficient ones. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, I need to do another weekly kit this week. I don't know if I'll do two or just the one because I think it will take Tom quite a long time to cut the florals. We worked out for one like A4 sheet, which is two sheets of florals, it takes like eight minutes so there may not be time to do more than one extra collection but i'll have to see how we go we also had a bit of a late start because we had to go and drop a present off so yeah i'm gonna probably work quite late tonight i've got zumba in the evening but on tuesdays i tend to just work until i have to leave because zumba isn't until quite late anyway i really do need to do the voiceover for tomorrow's plan with me soon as well i'm getting really behind the plan with me so i need to like sort that out there's so much going on at the moment i don't know like how I've got behind again but oh well I'm gonna go and make the cut files for April mystery so Tom can cut it we'll get printing it and then we can cut it when we have any like periods of downtime with new releases and stuff so these are all the new florals there are 12 sheets I've just done them as like multicolor. so there's like red ones mauve blush yellow orange blue etc so they're gonna be available individually or as a bundle if you want to pick them all up but you've basically got like individual florals you've got some little greenery bits these little arrangements that are like kind of circular in size you've got a circle a corner another individual one this one's just like a kind of loop shape and then these ones are cut to be a bit like borders so so the bottom is cut off so you can put it flat against something obviously you can cut the other ones to be like that if you wanted but yeah I feel like there's a good variety on the sheets you can use them to like layer with kits with functionals and icons and stuff like that I'm gonna have a play with them for my next plan with me but I'll show you in the vlog what I get up to with them So I've just made us a little calendar. This old whiteboard used to be Tom's, but he said I could borrow it. I've done like the dates along the top and then any like key dates that we might need to both know about. And I got these pens. I've got like eight different colors. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna color code anything or just pick like fun colors. But yeah, I've just been putting it together. Did not think about the fact that I would have to write on it after the lines are down and then like got really annoyed about smudging the lines, um, but it's fine. Now I just need to hang it up somewhere. So I'm once again vlogging from the same car park. Um, I'm about to go and have my eyebrows done. You can see how glittery my steering wheel is. This is every time I get like glittery nails, like little bits of it will come off on the steering wheel. I'll show you it from the front, but it is 
covered in like various colored glitters but yeah so i'm gonna have my eyebrows done now and then i am gonna go home and pack all the orders tom has cut all the premium mats so that i can do those like straight away and then we can maybe get them shipped tomorrow i've designed the new releases so i will show you those as well there's two new kits they're both summery and one of them is called Sunbelievable and I really love it. Like I liked the art, but I was like, just like kind of neutral positive about it. And then I designed it and I love it. So I'm really excited about that. I'm definitely going to be using that one for sure. And then the other big release is the florals and we're doing them as a bundle and individuals. So it's quite a lot of cutting for Tom. He worked out it was going to be like six hours just florals for like the amount I'd requested. So that's exciting for him i would never work it out like i find like comfort in the not knowing <laughs> like if i knew i had to do six hours of floors i would be in such a bad mood so i wouldn't work that out it's also ridiculously windy like i you wouldn't have seen like loads of just paper just flew about my car but we were going to bed it was like 1am and i just thought i'd like check the ring camera to check the recycling was still okay because i could hear the wind and the rain and it had flown like halfway up the road the both of us were like running around at midnight trying to like capture the recycling back it was all just boxes with like our addresses on so i didn't really want it to be flying around anyway but like i just feel so bad so we like just ran and grabbed it and hopefully we got most of it but a lot of it had like flown up the road and got stuck in other people's gardens and like fences and stuff so it was contained but it was getting like gradually further and further up the street so we were like we have to go and get it back <laughs> But yeah, this morning, like, I've just seen, like, so many bins, like, flying over and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have my brows done, and then I will catch up with you at home. about to pack orders but Thomas made me well I designed them but Thomas just got these little samples that I'm going to put in orders so these are going to be additional to the April freebie which looks like this I haven't shown this yet but I did design this ages ago and basically forgot how it looks like a mint and a kind of an aqua color for the April freebie and then this is just to mark that the PVC sale is the 22nd to the 24th of April this one is in premium matte which like wasn't really intentional but I guess people can try out the paper which is nice So I've done about two thirds of the orders. I'm gonna stop and do new release photos and edit them and stuff and then I'll finish the rest. Oh, I've done these as well. So maybe I've done slightly more, maybe like three quarters. I did get some happy mail this week. It's super shiny. This is from Josephine Bow Designs and let me show you the kit first. So I got this Easter kit. It's called Easter Wishes and it has hollow foil and I love it, so pretty. It's all hand drawn by Joanne. You've got the cute little carrots, <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, so this is a four page kit, I believe. You've got your washi, your boxes, and then functional pieces. And then I also picked up to go with it, the pink like mixed boxes, well they're called candy floss. I got these in hollow as well. And I also got Forget Me Not in hollow because I think I'm just gonna need a few more boxes and these are super good colors to have anyway, so I'm definitely gonna use them. Um, I've got the glitter headers. These are so pretty with the confetti foil. Um, I got a little freebie. This is the March freebie. I got Beth's PR freebie and Rachel's PR freebie. So yeah, I'm very excited to use that for Easter. I think it is in like two weeks time. 
but yeah I'm gonna put that away because I'm gonna just like lose it otherwise that reminds me Sophie who is buying my plans bought an April kit I think it was April it was a monthly kit and she lost it I had to check that I actually posted it to her and I definitely did and I can't remember where she found it in the end but yeah look after your kits people <laughs> so this desk is a bit of a mess but I do store my kits in my mauve rose large album and I have them ordered by like season so I don't believe I have an Easter section so I'm going to just put this in spring I've been cutting some stickers. I've got some floors on the go at the minute and I'm gonna just keep going through them um, and try and get as many done as I can because they take ages to cut. So I can do other things while I cut them. So I've edited the vlog to this point. Um, I'm gonna make some dividers because I need to make dividers for the floors and also some script ones. So I'm gonna get those going and pull stickers for my plan with me because I wanted to show you me using the florals with the kit that I'm using to plan last week and I'm using a mini kit so I think it would help to like make the kit go a bit further so that's the plan I've had a bit of a nightmare with the silhouettes because three or four of them I think had new blades and I had to change all my cut settings because these new blades were all extra sharp so the current settings that I have been using for maybe like the last year probably um were too sharp like they were cutting through the stickers so i had to reduce all the cut settings increase the like little little thing on the blade that turns the blade up on the old blades so that they would then cut through with the lighter cut settings i don't know if this makes any sense but yeah it took a while to get settings correct again but they are luckily back to normal new releases have gone live i've done a post run i've like gone through loads of we have like piles of stickers in the office that need like extra sheets put into them or maybe they're like just waiting to be put away so I've gone through all of those like random piles and sorted that out but yeah my next job really is just the dividers which you know I love doing so I'm going to stop putting that off and do it now <laughs>
also I've just finished up the dividers that I started yesterday. I've actually made quite a lot, more than I intended to. I've done the like quarter sized ones as well. I do normally use like this style of divider for my scripts. The ones I made yesterday are for scripts, but I'm running out of these tabs. I got them from a shop called My Pretty Week. They're called like tuck tabs, but she closed and I did buy loads. So that's why like all of my dividers are the same, like this marble pattern, but I'm gonna have to start switching to this style because I can punch them myself. So that is what I'm gonna do for the scripts going forward. So I've got loads made already and hopefully like I won't need to make any for a little while now. These ones, I am still using the marble tabs because I get through them a lot slower. So I'm only gonna need to use maybe like half of these to put the floors away. So this is my multicolor tub and you can see like they're very close together because I don't really have that many of each like multicolor sheet in stock. So the floors do make up like M127 to um, whatever 12, whatever that plus 12 is. <laughs> so these will fill this gap here and then whatever I've got left will just be put aside for when I need new ones for kits. I'm gonna end this week's vlog here, but thank you so much for watching. I think next week will probably be a pretty heavy album week. I really need to do some new designs ready for the PPC sale. I don't wanna leave it to the week off. I'd rather do it the week before. So that is the plan currently. I might design some stickers and then have Tom like cut and release them for the PVC sale week, which is in two weeks. How is it so soon? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.